Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom and I'm live on location from the house. Yes. I was looking at the videos that they're all taken in front of the shop doors so they all look the same. So it's confusing like Father's Day here in Whoville. So I figured I'd be like Les Nessman, go on location live from the house door. So that's the view from the deck of the house. I look at my green toy, my firewood, and the shop is right there. So, okay, so that's how I can make it from the shop to the house back and forth after drinking all day and stuff like that. But it is chilly willy here again. Okay, it's minus 34 Celsius, but feels like minus 44. But that was at 7 a.m. But the wind has gotten up, so now it feels even more chillier. Chillier? Chilly. 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 Chillier. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, on the F scale, minus 29, but feels like minus 47. Wow, there's quite a jump when it gets cold, eh? But also, too, Amazon has my fifth book? No, sixth book? Yeah, sixth book in my Winter Road series on for free as an ebook from February. Oh, Christ, I can't even read my writing. February 22nd to the 26th, okay? So that's five days, eh? So you can download it free as an ebook and look at it. Also, too, you can see the pictures better as an ebook than in print. Okay, but this is the story of Ricochet Hill. What actually happened at Ricochet Hill where I hit the snowbank, okay? But I can't tell about it on YouTube or whatever and talk about it because, you know, that's Hollywood's film. But if you read my book, I can tell you the details, okay? So we learned that, all right? But, okay, but the book is called Russian Roulette, okay? So please enjoy the book. Also, too, I'm a little upset with Facebook or Drama Book because it's turned into a newspaper that's three days old. It's just unreal. And then that young tow, tow truck driver made Winnipeg yesterday morning, okay? He tagged me saying he made it there. And all his friends are, ooh, ah, ah. I still haven't got it, okay? So they're controlling what I see and what I do. So it's three days behind. So how am I supposed to plan a revolution when I can't coordinate my friends on Facebook? You know, I got 5,000 friends, but only 25 will show up for the revolution. You know, I just shake my head. It's just unreal. <laughs> not going to phone everybody and tell them, hey, we're going to have a revolution, you know, be there at 10. Oh, God, most people won't answer their phone. They'll look at call display. Who the hell is that guy? You know, king of obsolete. It's those spammers again, eh? <laughs> My extended car warranty or whatever. Okay. But today we're going to have a successful day in the shop because we got things figured out. I have all my brain cells because I finally got back to being normal after busting my tushy on the weekend there. All right. Okay, the last of the beers sent up by Ed Martin's wife. Can you guys see it? I'm in the shadows of the morning sun. Modilo? Modilo? Modalo? Modalo? Oh, God, I don't even know I can say it. Can you guys see it? I can't even read it. I don't have my glasses on. You know, I'm just standing here holding a stick and yapping. I mean, talking, okay? But today we're going to figure out a rad. But see, the thing is, we're going to shove a rad in the Lynn tractor to get it up and running because we don't know anything about that motor. So anything we put on that motor can come off and go on to other things, right? Smart thinking, okay? Oh, my God, we got shadows like you wouldn't believe. I don't know what we're doing here. But we're going to have a good day today, yes. And hopefully this week warms up by the end and we can do stuff. Oh, got a cough coming. <coughs> Oh, that was lame ass. A little juicy though, but lame ass. Okay, but the main thing is we think positive here at the end of the world. I'm standing here holding a stick, freezing my ass off. I can feel the heat from the house coming into my face. So that means my hydrometer. Oh, I burps again or whatever. It's that damn peanuts. Okay, not the peanut butter because I'm eating diet peanut butter. Okay, but the thing is, is I'm standing here holding a stick and the heat's coming out of my house. Oh my God. Oh. This is terrible. I think I'm having an official shitty day. And I don't even think it's beer coming today. Johnny hasn't emailed me saying where the beer is. So I don't know. Maybe he's in Facebook jail or, or in email jail or whatever again. Or maybe I'm getting those messages three days late. Like it's just like on Facebook. Oh, well. Well, I better get going here. This is turning out terrible. Oh, well. But it is Wednesday. It is Wednesday? I hope it is Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, beer truck day. So beer on Wednesday will actually be Thursday or Friday. Right. Okay, I better get going. This is terrible.
Okay, I came down here to check on the flag exercise. He's all wrapped up. This wind is chilly. It's not that strong in the kingdom here, but it is windy. But also, too, note the sun is coming up farther in the east now. It's not coming up in the south. So it's actually coming up in the east, which is, means that summer is coming. But this wind is cold. My hand is officially frozen now. I sound like Les Nessman because it's freaking cold out here. I'm gone. Okay, before I get carried away and start welding and making hydraulic tanks and rad cradles and everything like that, we got to figure out this rad here. So it might have to be offset for everything to miss. This fan's a little large. Okay, but I think we can get the bottom one there. No problem. Oh, there's my finger. All right, let's go to the other side. Okay, I'm on the other side. If you haven't figured that out, have another drink. Okay, I have these curved rad hoses that came by mistake, and they work pretty good. We have them on all the 46, uh, no, 38 Chevys up to the 46 Chevy trucks, okay? So they clear everything. But our biggest problem is this fan is too big, all right? So if we can get one outlet to work and then scrimp and figure out this outlet, this might work. But the thing is, is I was Googling last night, checking on eBay and stuff like that. It looks like a Toyota rad, a Toyota forklift rad would fit in this spot here. But we're not spending any money on it, just like the PTO clutch, unless we know this motor is worthy. Like in Wayne's world, are we worthy? Okay, so I'll continue my little quest here of kind of jimmy rigging it with the welder. Okay, yesterday we cut the rad cradle apart or the grill shell or whatever you want to call it and today we're going to weld it back together. But plans change, okay? We're making this look like a government project. Change of plans, change of plans, change of plans. No money to do it right the first time but we got three times the money to fix it. You know, sort of thing. Oh well, we're having fun. We got the firewood cut here and we're ready for a long cold day because that wind is chilly. Okay, almost 8 o'clock at night, we've gone non-stop, and I mean non-stop, because we had troubles with this radiator, okay? I don't know what I was thinking, drilling a bunch of holes and measuring, it didn't work out, because anytime I went to put the rad hoses on, it didn't work, the bottom was too tight, the top was too tight. So basically, I ended up clamping the rad cradle, or the rad little frame that I made here. Alright, see if I got enough talent. Okay, clamping it onto the grill shell or whatever. And then moving it up and down and clamping it again and stuff like that. And then drilling the holes. Because I got carried away drilling the holes. So basically trying to get this little rad to fit with this big fan and everything. That's like trying to get Dolly Parton back in her bra after a night of fun with her. And she's drunk. It was just a struggle. But I did it. i got to remember everything is temporary on this motor. Because everything can come off of here if this motor is no good and it goes south to a collector. Okay. Because like these flex pipes can go on all the other vehicles. The air cleaners can go on both 67 Chevy film trucks. These rad hoses we got here, this is inventory that we're playing with. It can go on to the other Chevys because we buy one rad hose. Even these curved pipes can, uh, you know, go on to something else. But the best part is, is this pump on the front. I spent all this time making a nice bracketry up here. But I only put one bolt down here to bolt it on. Because if this thing doesn't work... I'm not wasting time on bracketry because this bracketry can go with the pump to be mounted on somewhere else. Okay, I'm on the other side of the motor. If you didn't realize that, have another drink. I have to have my overflow tank on, but it's not too high. But I can't lower it down because of the fans right here. But the main thing is I just want the expansion to come up and everything like that. I don't want any spillage and stuff. So we're able to jimmy rig a rad hose here. We're going from two and a half inch down to three one and three quarter up here, okay? But the way the elbows all worked out, it worked out, it kind of didn't work. So we kind of had to make some fittings and everything fit. And the main thing is, I do have a spring inside this curly Q here, this pipe or this non-rigid thing, the spring I shoved inside. Because I used this one on my 39 Chevy, I did, think, until I got smart and realized that you can buy flex hoses and then you can buy the insert to reduce the one end so it only took us 20 years to figure that out but this project is coming along pretty good I didn't think I was going to waste the whole day mounting the rat but the main thing tonight or today was to get antifreeze in it I don't know if we can see it but we got the antifreeze right in it it takes 14 gallons we had a leak at the thermostat housing here okay we knew that was going to happen so with the carburetor air cleaner on and all this stuff, there's a tricky little bolt down in here, and I was able to get it. I took the complete thermostat housing off, 
So I knew I could do it. So that's what I really wanted to know because if I have thermostat troubles here, okay, or leakage and around here, we have to change things. I know that this unit can come apart. So I was very pleased with that. But today was a struggle. I was on real, I was getting tired of drilling fricking holes and then finding out that the spin the fan and the rad hose was too close. But everything is kind of jimmy rigged and we're hoping for the best. Once we prove this motor is good, then we'll look for a transmission, like a four speed with reverse and a proper rad. So we're kind of changing everything in here. All right. Okay, it's too cold outside, but I'll stand here and point to this dry shaft. Because Sir Rodney now has the orange dry shaft that I whipped up on holiday Monday, okay? So that worked out good. So this hanger bearing that was too big and we made it fit and we welded and everything, put the orange silicone to keep the rubber from spinning around and around in circles. It made 14 hours of run time, okay? We can't go by the kilometers, you go by the hours. So that thing put along for 14 hours and survived. So Rodney sent me a video, we'll include it here. So to show the world that that thing did work. So me being, how would you say, uh, 12 years of schooling, but I don't have my grade 12, paid off because now that dry shaft with the hanger bearing made it because I use common sense to make it work. All right, let's go check on the flag exercise. What's up, Kingdom followers? Sir Rodney at West Trans here. If you've been following Joey from the King of Obsolete, you'll see that he did an awesome job fixing up a drive shaft for Bob's towing. And uh, it is now in my possession. Right there, there's his famous orange goop from the kingdom. So tomorrow we're going to get this all fixed up and the customer will be happy. We'll balance it and uh, we'll be good to go. So stay tuned for part two. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night and we'll talk to you all in a bit. Okay, I think it warmed up. The owls are hoo-hooing. The dogs are all excited because they're going to go for a walk. But it doesn't feel that chilly out here. The shop wasn't too bad. And then, oh, the flag exercise is in there somewhere. I don't know where he is. But the other night, I'm sitting there looking at my cameras. And there's the moon up there. And then there was other things around it or whatever with it. Okay, there's my finger. All right. So then I watched, follow along on Facebook there, and I guess it was Jupiter and Neptune or whatever, Pluto or whatever, all farting around there, all in line or whatever. Oh, well. Okay, let's go walk the dogs and drink some beer. We're not going to get the pony, okay? Talk to you later.